and welcome to Slade on Slade. This is my beautiful wife, Leslie. I am Keith, and today's topic is random questions. Part two. I am the writer of the upcoming book, The House of Ribbons, due out in early 2021. Be on the lookout, because I'll be spamming the ever-living crap out of your inbox. My first question for you is, how do you come up with your title of your chapters? Ah, um... I don't know. Sometimes I want them to be kind of misleading. Uh, I set it up uh, differently than I see in a, in, a, in a lot of the books that I read. Um, in the House of Ribbons, it's two, three pages, chapter, two, three pages, chapter. Until you get to about chapter, I think, what, 10? And then I do it's 10 pages a chapter because I like a lot to, to, to chew into. So sometimes it's a misleading chapter title. Sometimes it's something funny. Uh, actually, sometimes it's just been uh, something out of a song, uh, as long as it fits uh, as best as possible. Next question for you is, what is your favorite part of writing that is not revision? I like the adventure that I get to take myself on, especially when I write something and I come back a, a couple days later and uh, I revise. Uh, and then... I, I reread it and I go, oh wow, that's 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 good. I'm glad I wrote that because uh, I would have been envious if somebody else had written that. I like the adventure I could take myself on. It's almost like writing the waking dream. Uh, so um, it looked like a gratuitous tattoo shot, didn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, but no, it, it to me it's um, I'm taking myself on a journey, even if it's not a big seller. I still got to get you know this fantasy novel out. And which is, you know, a fantasy in itself. So. The next question comes for us from Don Scott. Don asks, what took you so long to finally write a book? You've uh, always had this amazing ability to on the fly storytell or basically we're waiting in the chow hall line and I'll make up a story of some random goof walking by. And uh, so he wanted to know what took me so long. I'm going to be honest, what took me so long, uh, I had uh, let somebody I trusted and cared about uh, look at something a long time ago. And uh, she did me dirty with some uh, unkind comment. And I, I, you know, I let it, I took it to heart. And uh, it really kicked me in the ego. And uh, I just put it away. And I was throwing everything away um, years later. Years later, because, you know, Don, you and I, we deployed in... Uh, early 2003 to the invasion of Iraq and uh, so when I, I, I we, we bought our new house uh, my wife found these notebooks and after uh, going through my stuff uh, she was like hey this is good and you know do it orally in the living room wink uh, <laughs> and I end up uh, I, I spun on for what three and a half hours uh, yeah. yeah and uh, we, time went by and she was like you got to write that down and uh, uh, luckily, we have surveillance in the house, uh, and uh, so I was able to listen to what I said and you know, molded it into something even even better. Uh, and that's my wife saying it's even better because I can tell you it's great all day long, but ultimately it's only good per person. You know? uh, next question is from Carolina, Caroline Vermeres. <laughs> Bill just wrote, uh, and she asked. What is it like having such a pretty wife? I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it's something kind of cool. Okay? When you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, I wouldn't date me. I'm a gargoyle. And then I look at my wife and I'm like, thank God she had uh, LASIK, which made her eyes worse and she can't tell. So that's the answer right there, Carolyn. <laughs> What's your favorite character in the book? Oh man, I don't have, in the first book, I don't have a favorite character. Uh... I can't because uh, it would it would diminish uh, what that's that's a that's a question that you're gonna have to get into after people have read the book. Uh, I have a couple of favorites, but um, so that's to be continued. My buddy Bill Souza from Florida asked the question, "What made you decide to put me in the book?" And I'm gonna give you the answer. Bill, you and I have known each other. Got to be. Oh man, gotta be 30 years now. And uh, Bill uh, and I used to ride uh, 
we each had a motorcycle and went out rode with uh, members of the family. We went up to Laconia, and um, so I, I have a wizard in the book, Bill, Bill the Wizard, and uh, um, I wrote him in there only because uh, you had such an impact in my life, uh, and he himself is a funny storyteller and an amazing musician. Um, so uh, that's that's why I decided to have you in there. I wanted to make sure that no matter what, you and I could always kind of be on an adventure together for the rest of our lives. So that's it right there, Bill. So when you're writing, do you use things that happen now that are specific to your life in your book? What do you mean? Like if I ever had a three-way or something? No, I mean like little references to little things that you like. Oh, yeah, man, I hide shit like that in there all the time. And I got a couple of really, really super funny Easter eggs. I had a couple of really good ones I had to take out uh, uh, because for legal reasons, I didn't know if I could use those names. But, uh, um, yeah, I got a couple of couple of good ones. Uh, one of the references I, I make is uh, from the, the book Twilight. Now, I'm going to be honest with you right off the bat. I thought the books were really good. The movies... You know, I'm not a big movie watching or a TV guy, so uh, I'm not going to critique uh, somebody else's work. But at one point, uh, my character goes, what next, sparkly werewolves? <laughs> so that's that was my attempt to be clever, and uh, it's it's probably going to fall flat on its face. But, you know. And nobody's going to really realize it but us. But I think, I, I there think might be a couple, couple people. people. Yeah, yeah. But it was our little... I tried to make a couple of Fifty Shades of Grey jokes but uh then it, it didn't work so i had to, i had to, to yank them all because that subplot is really he's a billionaire i need to be a billionaire to get with one uh, if you're a billionaire you're gonna have a harem of women because that's how it works if you're a billionaire woman and you're just gonna stick to one guy me too oh but uh, uh one guy and you got a drawer full of toys no you're gonna have dozens of guys and all that guys crazy. and girls yeah, it's going to be some crazy shit, you know? You're going to be a billionaire. It's going to be some crazy shit, you know? We have time for one last question, so... Uh, Belinda Plant from Rhode Island asked, do you have a favorite food uh, while you write? And uh, The answer is um, not really. Kind of, I'm kind of an omnivore when it comes to uh, crazy shit. And uh, I, I don't snack a lot. Uh, you know, Twizzlers, I guess. I, I, I like stuff that's going to leave my workspace as clean as like the night before. Too. Yeah, I like yogurt. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm big into the Greek yogurt stuff. I like it when you, you leave it out and it's room temperature. It gets almost this yucky aftertaste. I'm a weird guy. I like yucky things. Like, if it tastes gross, you're like, oh, this is weird. Uh, but a Twizzler, I like to leave my workspace super pristine um, because it's got to look the same every single time when I and I, and I find it hard to write in other places uh, I can take notes anywhere but writing anywhere else like we were at Fort Leonard Wood uh, a few months back Fox in the woods yep and uh, I could not write for the life of me when I was there I was just out of my element and uh, you know so it was just a weekend of screwing off on base and watching Teen Titans go <laughs> we have for you today if you like our content go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button don't forget to share it and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Parlor, MeWe, and you will see us up on Rumbler also. So go ahead and check us out on those locations so you can get more updates on the book. Because I'm sure if you have to check every single one of those, you're a super fan. And then I appreciate you. But not if you're standing outside my window and watching me shower. Because A, that would be super weird because I have glass block, so you're not really going to be able to see me well. So just knock and I'll invite you in because modesty, look at me, I have no modesty. And if you want to go ahead and check out our Patreon page, go ahead and do that. We have plenty of good rewards out there. And don't forget about that 50 slots we have for a book character. So, book as characters. A, yeah, characters. <laughs> and so that is all we have for today. So we will see you next time. Bye.